Hey everybody, uh, if you're a regular here at Einstein's or you've been here before, you may have seen something called AeroPress kicking around. You may or may not know what it is, so we thought we'd put, a, put together a little video to show you a bit more about it. The AeroPress itself is this thing here. Uh, it is a form of filter coffee. Um, so, I'm going to work on it for you and we're going to uh, yeah, show you how it's made. So we're using uh, 20 grams of coffee. Now this is a, uh, a filter roast, so it's um, different to what we're using in the, ma in the machine. Uh, it's a little bit lighter uh, because of the uh, brew method. Uh, the lighter roast brings out uh, the flavors that we want. And we're using water um, that is 92 degrees. First thing we're going to do is we're going to preheat the aeropress and the vessel that it's going into. Okay, once that's done, we're ready to go. So we take our 20 grams of coffee and we put it into the top. And we take our water again, and with our timer ready to go, what we want to do is we want to pour the water into the aeropress, and we want to make sure we're going to break up the coffee that's there. Uh, and then, as soon as the water hits the coffee, we want to start the timer. We're going to brew it for one minute. I'm using 160 grams of water. And then with the panel, just slightly breaking up the coffee just to make sure we get no clumps and a nice good infusion. And then at 30 seconds, I'm going to start to plunge down. So this is a lot different to um, a typical black espresso coffee, short black or long black. Um, some people call it, say it's a lot more tea-like, which is probably true. Um, it's a lot softer extraction, and you're not using nine bars of, of water pressure to get your flavour out. It's a very soft um, infusion of flavours. So I wanted to aim to have the brew finished by one minute, which we're at right now. And I'm not pushing all the way down, I'm stopping just before the end, just so we don't get any silk coming through into the cup. Then we take a preheated glass. And there we have it. Dallas Science Aeropress.